In my experience, students tend to struggle with exchange rates. Do they divide? Do they multiply? How does it all work? This video will make life easy for you. So, we're a UK company in all of these examples. Okay. Now, the normal way of showing a foreign exchange rate is the indirect method. Don't worry about that. We'll just call it the normal way. And that is in your home currency, you just show the one, whatever the currency is. So in the UK company, the exchange rate is normally shown as one pound equals however much the foreign currency is. But it's the one pound, it's the home currency that is kept as one. Okay, so that's the normal method. And I'm going to tell you that we divide the foreign currency, which won't make sense to you yet. So... A UK company is going to receive $150. Well, we get given the exchange rate like the one above that, and we see it's the normal way round where the home currency is one, and the foreign currency is the amount that revolves around one. We take that foreign currency, you always take the foreign currency, and you say, right, what do I do? I divide, because it's the normal way round. I divide by the exchange rate, and that will give me the pounds in my domestic, my home currency. Okay, so far, so good. So if that's the normal way around of showing it, what happens when it's not normal? When it's not the indirect, it's the direct. Okay, so in that case then, the foreign currency is shown as $1. And this is sometimes, you know, the way they do it as well. And the home currency is the one that's revolving around the dollar. They don't normally show it like this, but it could be. Well, it's the absolute opposite, isn't it? It's the opposite way round. So you don't divide the foreign currency, you multiply the foreign currency. Simple. Let's have a look at that example again. You take the foreign currency. This time, we're given the exchange rates the not normal way round, the direct way round, and you think, ah, oh, okay, so in that case then, I multiply. I take the exchange rate and I multiply my foreign currency by it, which give you the exact same answer of 100 pounds. Okay, so to summarize then, for UK company, normal way round, and this is for any company obviously really, the normal way round is your home currency, is given as one and the foreign currency just moves around that depending on how the exchange rate moves and if that happens you take the foreign currency and you divide it by that 1.5 if it's given so the step one sorry would be is the exchange rate the normal way around like in this case yes it is so in this case we would take the foreign currency and we would divide it if it was the other way around the direct method then you would multiply the foreign currency. Simple as that.